you realize that, oh, I have certain habit patterns that are blocking me from being in this knowingness, then yes, take up stronger vows. You do whatever is required on the path for you to again and again be on in knowingness. In Advaita, they never went ahead and laid down rules that do this vow, do that. That was left up to the sadhak to figure out on his own what, what he needs to do. Yes, But they said that this is a direct path. First you recognize this is my goal, the knower, the knowingness. And when you can very clearly see your goal, na, then you start, you yourself will start clearing the path so you get there. On the other practices, the yogic practices, they say, no, first you clear yourself, you become clean, you become pure, then it will happen, then it will happen. So it's just building an expectation in the mind, it will happen, it will happen. And so many people just keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing and never ever are told that you are the knower. Yeah. So Advaita says it is not fair to hide this from the seeker. He already knows it. You have to just make him aware. And so he is self-driven then, self-propelled. Clear? And it is the same thing on the Buddha's path. The knowingness, that field is absolutely like deep sleep. Yeah, it's just like darkness. So on the Buddha's yes. path, it is called Shunyata. Yeah. Even on the Buddha's path, you learn it very early on. Yeah, it's not taught yeah. very late. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.